All right, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast from the 22nd of September all the way until the 29th of September. Before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in our description for our social medias. I'll link the Instagram down below where you can check that out because we do really cool exclusive content on that, and we're starting to pick up more and more. On next week's weekly forecast, hopefully we're going to have some viewers send in photos on the Instagram. You have to tag us in an Instagram post, anything weather related goes, and we'll be sharing some of those to these weekly forecast videos as well as to the Instagram page. If you're interested in that, or if you have any weather photos that you'd like to share, post them to Instagram and tag us in them, and we will be sure to uh, try to pick the coolest ones and share them on the face or share them on the Instagram and as well as the weekly forecast. Now, we're looking at our precipitation forecast here, and this is probably one of the hardest precipitation maps I've ever had to make. It's really confusing, but this is looking like what's going to happen, believe it or not. I'm going to break this one down. It might take a while, though, because we've got a lot going on here. This is crazy. I'll start with the east because that's the most simple here. We're going to have overall drier conditions in the east there. You can see that we do have the two different shades of brown. The first one is slightly drier than normal. Sometimes you don't even notice this. In the second shade, though, that's where it becomes a lot more noticeable, and we do see that from Louisiana all the way up through some of those Gulf states, up through Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia and Delaware. Now, heading westward, you can see that we do have that light green shade pretty much for most of the western two-thirds of the United States, with the exception of this little dry area inside of the slightly green area there for Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, and that extends into some of those north central states as well. Uh, that's where we're going to have average to even slightly below average precipitation there for Colorado, Kansas, and Nebraska. Now, we do have a medium shade of green set up here from Oklahoma through Kansas, Missouri, into Illinois, including Chicago, and then into Michigan. This is where we're going to be expecting some pretty stormy conditions here. Uh, it's it's going to be quite quite the wet week for you guys out there. I'm seeing multiple chances for storms, so it's going to be quite the wild week. Uh, we also have three different areas outside of that one of also that medium shade of green, one for the Pacific Northwest up there in Washington, a little bit inland. We are going to be have some, some we're going to be having some storms move inland uh, offshore, uh, probably towards the later half of this week, I would say we're going to be seeing some storminess as well as uh, that's going to be bringing some precipitation to Montana as well. And then we're going to be seeing some above average precipitation there for Arizona and New Mexico. Keep in mind, though, it doesn't take a lot of precipitation to give these guys an above average amount of precipitation. So this doesn't mean that you're going to be seeing an astronomical amount of precipitation. Just comparatively to your normal for a week, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot. Now, moving on to our temperature forecast here, and we're kind of getting more basic now. We have two different separate areas, and that's it. So it's a little bit easier here to follow. We do have below average temperatures out there for the west from Arizona through California into Nevada and then up into the northwest, including Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Montana. We even have that medium shade of blue. That's where we're going to be expecting more consistent and more noticeable cold temperatures there for the northern Rockies, as well as inland areas of Washington and Oregon. Now, East to the Rockies, we're basically going to be dealing with above average temperatures. In that first shade of orange, it won't be too noticeable. It might be noticeable in some areas, but it won't be too noticeable. In that medium shade of orange there, though, we will be starting to notice it, and you're going to probably be thinking, oh, wow, it's actually pretty warm out here uh, during the day for a lot of these areas, particularly the southern areas. Obviously, it's going to be hotter than the northern areas. You know, New England, it's just going to be, it's going to be decent temperatures. It's going to be fair conditions, I would say, but probably not too hot. Now, for that third shade of orange, basically a red at this point in the mid-Atlantic and areas like that, we're going to be dealing with far above average conditions as far as temperatures are concerned. And it's going to be quite hot at times for North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Ohio, Kentucky. These areas, it's going to be warm, very, very warm for this time of year. We're into late September. This isn't unheard of, but it is going to be quite hot comparatively to your normal. We're used to upper 70s, lower 80s here, and we're going to be far exceeding that for a lot of the time this week from the 22nd through the 29th. Now, for your special note segment of the video, we're starting out with your first special note here. Warmer than normal conditions continuing for the eastern United States, though the north central United States has kind of cooled off a little bit here. We're not dealing with quite as much warm temperatures up there. It has moved east quite a bit, southeast that is, and the warmer than average temperatures, again, 
are in the Mid-Atlantic area, Virginia, North Carolina, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Maryland, D.C., Delaware. Those types of areas are going to be seeing the warmest temperatures comparatively to normal. Uh, but it's going to be quite a bit warmer than normal for this week. And we're going to have to see after this week what happens. Obviously, I make these once a week on Sundays. So stay tuned for next week's, so obviously, if you're new. But we're going, to be deal- we're going to be talking about after this point by then. We will have an update on if it's going to continue or end. Now, for your second special note, we have cold sticks around out there for the western United States. We've been having this for about two or three weeks now, colder than normal conditions out there, and it looks to stick around for the most part. There might be some brief warm-ups, but outside of that, uh, I think we're going to be dealing with some pretty below-average conditions. I think the biggest chance for warm-ups is down there in California, potential for some warm-ups, but up there in the northwest, not quite as much. I think it might be more consistent up there, Uh, and again... Uh, We're going to be in that medium shade of blue for up there, which means it is going to be colder than normal comparatively to normal comparatively to the areas that are south. That was a tongue twister for sure, guys. Uh, Now, our third special note, things stay pretty dry out in the east. We had this last week where we didn't have a lot of precipitation whatsoever, with the exception of obviously Texas and some other areas did see a lot of precipitation, but for the most part, we did see pretty dry conditions for the eastern United States. Texas, it's good to see things drying up. We had some very, very bad flooding out there, and uh, it's good that we're not going to add any precipitation to that. That's really, really good news for you guys out there. Now, for your fourth special note, here we have stormy conditions from Oklahoma up through Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, All of these areas are going to be dealing with stormy conditions throughout the week. Uh, And again, I see multiple chances of storms for you guys. This has a lot of big cities in it. We see Oklahoma City, uh, St. Louis, uh, what is that, Kansas City, uh, Chicago, Detroit. These are a lot of big cities involved in these stormy conditions, and they're going to be dealing with a lot of rain this week. So it is kind of a big deal that we're going to be seeing this much storminess for these very, very large cities in the United States. Now, for your fifth special note, we're going to be dealing with some snowy conditions out there in the west, uh, western United States, out there in the Rockies and some other mountain ranges as well. A lot of high elevation areas are going to be dealing with significant snowfall, uh, probably the most significant of the season so far. California, your mountains are going to be getting quite a bit of snow, as well as areas some isolated areas in Oregon and Washington, as well as Nevada. But then those northern Rockies through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, we're going to be dealing with quite a bit of snow. And I've seen the chance for maybe even some significant snowfall this week, which is exciting news. It's the first time of the season that we're going to be dealing with a large amount of snowfall possibly. So I wanted to mention that more snow is coming to the Northwest. And obviously, as we just progress further into this fall season, we will, we will be dealing with more and more and more of that snowfall out there in the West. And eventually, as we head into later October and early November, we'll be talking about snowfall in the Eastern United States Uh, at least for the interior New England areas. That's usually when we would expect that to start happening. Now, that's it for this video, guys. I did want to talk about the Instagram real quick. If you do follow the Instagram, that's cool. If you don't, you can check it out in the description. If you do have an Instagram or in the pinned comment, I will have it as well. If you don't have an Instagram, I understand if you don't want to make one just to follow it. It would be cool if you did, but you don't have to. But what's cool that we're going to be doing is, again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can go ahead and follow our Instagram. And if you tag us in any weather-related photos or videos, Uh, as storms hit, all sorts of stuff throughout the year. We're going to be doing these weekly photo and video, I guess, showcase that you guys do. I don't know yet if it's going to be an individual video just dedicated to it or if it'll be at the end of the weekly forecast videos like this one. I'm leaning towards the end of these unless we get a lot of them. Uh, But right now we have 550 followers, I think, or somewhere up there in that range. So we're doing really, really well, guys. I'm really enjoying doing the Instagram for you guys. And it's easier for me to bring exclusive content. Uh, Very, very easy for me to do to just bring you guys some exclusive content that is very unique. And just to give you guys some quick updates on what's going on with the weather. Again, if you tag us in photos and videos... There's a chance that, and right now nobody's doing it so far, so there's a really good chance that we're going to share your photos and videos, but uh, as time progresses, obviously we'll probably start getting more and more sent in videos and photos, Uh, but 
there is a chance that you will be showcased on the Instagram as well as at the end of these weekly forecast videos. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and have a great week.